Governor McCrory says we shouldn't let our guard down yet. CBS North Carolina's Michael Highlands kicking off our team coverage from the State Emergency Operations Center in Raleigh. Michael. The shifts we saw on the track today were encouraging to the people here coordinating the state's emergency response, but there are still parts of the state at risk, and today we've got a first-hand look at how emergency responders will get to people if there is indeed significant flooding. With the memories of last week's flooding still fresh, the threat posed by Hurricane Matthew is magnified. We're extremely concerned about some of the flooding that could occur, in, especially in southeastern North Carolina. Changes in the storm's track Wednesday keep it off North Carolina's coast. If the continued track stays intact, uh, we're going to be in pretty good shape, but we still want to encourage the people to be very careful. The National Guard is already preparing. Sergeant First Class David Leary showed us how vehicles like this one could be used in the coming days to potentially save lives. Vehicles are typically staged across the state with uh, teams that are set up to react to anything like that. It's capable of going through about two and a half feet of water for upwards of 20 minutes at a time. This would normally be used to transport 15 troops, but Leary says it could fit more people in an emergency. We can pull people out of a bad situation if need be. Governor McCrory says he's already in talks with leaders in South Carolina to send resources there to help if they're needed. But he warned a lot could still change. An extremely slow-moving hurricane, a little unpredictable. The governor has a conference call scheduled tomorrow with the head of the Army Corps of Engineers as well as the governors of Georgia and South Carolina. For now, there are no evacuations planned of any cities or towns in eastern North Carolina. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS North Carolina.